we've looked at a for each next um, example with regards to looking at each cell in a range of cells. But you can also ask it to work with each sheet in a collection of sheets. So what I'd like to do here, for example, is we might make a few copies of this sheet, Budget 2012. If I was to hold the control and drag Budget 2012 to the right, one, two, three times, say, then I'll end up with four copies of this sheet. And I'll just go back to the first one. Now, again, you can type the code, but I'm going to go to the code file, and I'm after this sub-procedure called Set Borders. And so I'm going to select this sub-procedure here, take a copy, and put it in my Visual Basic Editor. What we have here is a declaration or, or declaring a variable my sheet as a worksheet. We're also declaring my cell as a, as a range. And then for each sheet in the Active Workbooks collection of sheets, set my cell as my sheet and this particular range here. So this range in each sheet is going to become my cell. And then what it's going to do, it's going to put a border around that range in each sheet in this file. It's going to be a double border of medium weight and it's got a red, green, blue um, application of 2550 and 0. RGB means colour and 255 is the maximum value. So this is going to put a red, medium, double border around the range D70U12 in every sheet in this active workbook, whether there be two sheets or 200 sheets. Um, if you want to know more about RGB, you can click on RGB and you can press F1, the key, and it will actually give you, as you can see here, all the combinations. And because we have 25500, this is going to apply red. Um, so I'll just close that and bring up Excel. So if I click in this code and I press F8, it declares the sheet, it declares the range. And then for each sheet, what I might do is actually tell it to go and select um, the sheet. So just after this statement, I'll go my sheet, full stop select. Just so it takes me there and I can actually see it doing what I want it to do. So if I go F8, it's a, it applies a border, and I can see it here, a red, double, medium thickness border around that. Now next my sheet, if I go F8, it goes to the next sheet and selects it and puts the border on. And then the next sheet. And it just continues to do it to every single sheet. So if you've got something that needs to be consistently done to every sheet in a workbook, and there might be two, there might be 255, then the for each sheet in the collection of sheets is a very handy statement, whereas the earlier one was for each cell in a range of cells.